In today's abandoned video, we are inside another vacant Debenhams department store, this time in Cork Island. The city centre property was left abandoned since 2020 during the pandemic, after being occupied as a retail business for over a century. It remains untouched with working electricity, which as we found out means that the alarms still function today. Alistair, what? have you heard that 85% of people are not subscribed? You're joking! They need to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Earlier this year, we had been targeting more derelict shopping centres and department stores across the UK and Ireland. The former Debenhams in the city of Cork in the Republic of Ireland was one of those we were checking that fortunately paid off. The premises has a rich history, dating all the way back to 1901, where it opened as Roach's Stores, a business founded in Cork that would develop to have over 10 stores around the country. When Merchant's Key Shopping Centre was constructed in 1989, Roach's would become one of four anchor stores, with a street entrance and an entrance inside the mall. As time went on, the department store would lose its popularity and would exit the scene in 2007, ceasing operation at this building a year prior. Debenhams would take over quickly and continue to be an anchor store at the shopping centre for another decade. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Debenhams stores in Ireland would temporarily close, only to be permanently closed later that year when the company went into administration. More than a hundred years of department store occupancy would come to an end, leaving the grand complex in limbo. are inside um, an abandoned Debenhams. Power's working. And you can hear there is an alarm going off, quite a loud one. We think that was going off before we got inside. But there are sensors all over this place that we've just noticed, so I'm not 100% sure. Can see a staircase here, so we're definitely going to get down into the main shops. I think this was all just storage up here. They're in here. I think one floor down and we should be there. And the door's open for us. Another sense of This is really cool. I really hope that alarm wasn't us. The ringing alarm, which we would find out later was triggered by us, added an eerie sense of dread to the exploration, as we were half waiting for the security from the neighbouring shopping centre to suddenly appear inside. It's the first time I've been in a shopping centre where so much of the interior decorations have been left. A lot of the shelves are still here, checkout desks and the photographs on the walls and brand logos.
And it all focuses on this huge atrium with a lovely skylight. Levi's. It's probably the biggest brand I've seen that still has its logo left in here. That sounds like horses. That's the the entrance there. It's probably just the high street. Walking into the department store's main atrium, there was an apocalyptic scene before us, because there was hardly any deterioration and the electricity still worked. Although we didn't expect this Debenhams to contain anything as old as the last one we posted, you could still see how it had been modernised over time. I feel like all I can find at the moment is abandoned escalators. leave that for last because I imagine that's where most of the sensors are. It's a cool view from here though, it's very symmetrical. There's more natural light over here, another escalator. Weird how there doesn't seem to be any alarms in this bit going on. No, all the sensors are on like, the top floor. Now I wonder if this connects to the shopping centre across. Probably does. That's cool. That is cool. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Shit. That's so cool. I didn't expect it to be this big, all the seating still there. So this is where you'd pay. It's all still here. In immaculate condition, even the card reader. Go and sit over here. God, it must have been packed at some point for them to build this much seating. See, there's some decay starting to come in as well from the ceiling tiles. And are these here to collect water? Behind the counters now in the back rooms, looking for the light switches. Look at all the notices still here. The printer as well in this office. Oh, here they are. Yep. I think that did the job. See how this looks now. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, well, this gives you a way better representation. I'm glad I didn't do all my cinematics with my torch just then.
we had come across another surreal environment. The store's canteen left with all the furniture still intact and many pieces of equipment all in perfect working order. Got the hot wells there for the food. I see some price stickers too. There's a baby food warming area and cutlery and condiments too. And the microwave's still there. After setting off multiple sensors and with the alarm still blaring, we decided to quicken our pace as we moved downstairs. So maybe we go into the left there and walk round. So basically, if you can hear the growing noise, I ignore them now. Really. Um, this was an anchor store for the shopping centre that's active, and this is the entrance or was. And you can hear shoppers going about their day. the restaurant. What's interesting here, you can see that it's really starting to decay right next to the active shopping centre. When you are on the roof it's not surprising there's so much water just sat there. The roof is covered in green and you can see here like in the, uh, in the canteen they're collecting the water that's fallen here. And there's obviously work in electric, so it must be pretty dangerous. standard. It was totally clean. The lights worked in here and looked active. So we're behind this coded door. Oh my. Jesus Christ. There's way more left than I would expect at a huge conglomerate like Devon. Other PCs. That's a CCTV monitor to an old one. Heading onto the ground floor now where the main entrance is. There's even more displays here. The alarm adds to the ambience of this place. It is missing some mannequins there. And here's the front entrance. I've chosen a strange way to <laughs> block it off. A mix of displays, white sheets or curtains, and just cardboard. <laughs> but so many shoppers would have passed through these doors every day for years.
It must be a strange experience watching our video if you are a familiar shopper with the Cork Debenhams. Seeing a building that perhaps gave you joy over many weekends for decades and decades, now in a paralysed state, neither here or there. Displays are really cool. Okay, this one here. All the different makeup holds. Obviously, no products were left. They wouldn't be that stupid, but you can see where they would all be. Very close to the alarm. I apologise for the noise. Just in there for some reason. Different types of mascara here. Would have been a neon light. Pretty retro. It would be cool if I could get it on, but I can see the wires caught around the back. Another checkout. Everything remaining. This place is honestly huge for a single department store. Goes on and on back here. Just with no lighting. Sort would have been female clothing. You see it all the way back there. Entrance. The only thing that works in here weirdly is the um, fire lights. Still alone in the vast facility, we figured we should get going before we tested our luck. It had been another insightful look into the company's past, present and future through our brief exploration. The latest news with the property is that it has been sold for around £12 million. Thankfully, it is likely that you will see it back in use later this year as a sports retail chain and maybe next time we are in Cork, we will be able to visit to witness the structure with its life restored. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned Debenhams. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we share images of places we explore months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we embark on our biggest urban exploration road trip to date. We have some amazing plans and can't wait to return with some great content to share with you. Follow us on our social media to see regular updates. See you next time.